A new year is right around the corner, and many of us right now are planning to have monumental shifts in the new year ahead. You know, this usually comes in the way of health and wellness, like releasing weight that we might have put on over the course of the year, and especially the holidays. Having an expansiveness in our careers, in our finances, in our relationships. And what I find in my work is that it's not that people don't have a clear vision of where they want to go, but what oftentimes gets them caught up is they don't have an understanding of the habits that they need to get there to make it a reality in their lives. And in this video, I'm going to share with you my top five habits to make 2022 your best year ever. Hi everyone, Chris Nasky here with Black Belt Leadership Speaking and Coaching with your Mind of a Champion Tip of the Week. And if you're looking to make 2022 your best year ever, make sure that you watch to the end of this video where I'm going to share with you a special offer that I have going for people that want to make that a reality in their lives. So we're up upon this new year. And what many of us will do is we'll create these wonderful goals or New Year's resolutions. And oftentimes they're big, massive steps of action that we plan on taking. The problem with that is that so far out of our comfort zone that we can't maintain that pace. You know, for an example, let's say you want to get in shape after sitting around for a whole year and you say you're going to get to the gym for two hours every day, six days a week. Well, that generally lasts for a couple days until your body starts talking to you and you're a little bit sore and you're not as inspired and motivated as before and pretty soon it trails off. And what I found though is the massive results that most of us get not come from the massive action, but from sustained action over a period of time, consistent action in small amounts. In fact, I love what the author James Clear talks about in his book, Atomic Habits. He says, imagine if you will, that you just made a 1% improvement each day over the course of a year on a specific activity. So imagine January 1st, you're 1% better than you were, and then on January 2nd, you're 1% better than you were the day before, etc., etc. At the end of, of a year, you would be 37 times better than when you started. Now, you might be thinking, well, wow, what if I maintained that pace for, over, for two years? Would I be 74 times better? Actually not. You'd be 1,400 times better. And if you did that over five years, 1% better each day over five, you'd be 76 million times better. Now, is that necessarily realistic? No, but I think you get the point. You see, because our good habits, our healthy habits, they don't add up, they compound. It's a compounding effect, just like compound interest. And so what I want to do is I want to share with you my five habits for this year that I know can help you in developing that compound reaction that you want in realizing your dreams and making breakthroughs in what you want in your life. So here's the first one. Number one is whatever goal you have, break it down. Break it down into small digestible chunks. Oftentimes we set an annual goal. We want a certain thing by the end of the year, but then we start to lose momentum because it's so far off. I love Brian Moran and, um, and Michael Lennington. They have a book called The 12 Week Year. And they talk about making your year 12 weeks and every day becomes you know, like a week and every week becomes like a month. And so what you do is you're much more focused on a closer range goal. So whatever that is, break it down into small chunks and then just focus on what you need to get done and then move on to the next, then move on to the next. And then over time, you're going to get the big results you want. Number two is pre-commit to your habits. Now, what does that mean? Many of us have great aspirations of what we want to do. But what happens is, is it's not integrated into our routine and it hasn't become a habit yet. So when we pre-commit to a habit, what I mean is if you want to have a, a various activity that you want to now integrate into your routine, pre-commit to that in advance and the decision to do it and when to do it and where to do it is already done. So for instance, if uh, let's say you want to take a meditation for the year, you've heard great things about that. Rather than waking up in the morning in that warm bed and going, hmm, do I want to meditate this morning? You actually already have your pillow or chair set up with your blanket and your way to, to play some soft music and the decision is already done. So when you wake up, boom, you're off and you already do it. You don't have to think about it. The decision is pre-committed to. It's pre-decided. Number three is kind of related to number two, but it's to schedule your habits. 
See, what many of us do when we want to integrate a new habit is we do it when we can get around to it. We have all of our other activities scheduled in our calendars, and when we get around to it, we'll bring it in into, into use. That, that, to me, never works. What I like to do is I like to anchor those important activities in my calendar and do my other activities around those. So if meditation or exercise or reading or taking that daily walk or whatever this new routine is for you, making you know 10 calls to new clients, whatever that is, anchor that in your calendar and then move the other things around that. One thing I found is that nature abhors a vacuum. So when you have space in your calendar where you think you're going to get something done, if it's not anchored there, something else will kind of slither in and take its space. So anchor the, the items, that, the new activities that you want to incorporate this year and make that a habit. Number four is to make sure that uh, not only do you schedule your habits, but that um, you are actually finding people that are doing healthy habits as well. You know, I love Jim Rohn's uh, statement. He says, you, we're an average of the five people that we spend the most time with. So if you're trying to initiate a healthy habit into your life, but you're surrounded with people that aren't supportive of that, the chances are you're not going to be able to maintain it. But when you can find people who are into healthy diets, if you will, or into exercising, or they're focused on their business and making a difference, and you're interacting with them, you're going to be raising yourself to that level as well. You know, and it might even be good to have a buddy that you commit to to do activities together. But find people that can support those habits because they're also committed to that healthy habit as well. And then finally, and one that I know that I, I have a tendency to, uh, to not do very well, is to reward yourself when you are following through on your habits. So for instance, if you're, if you're really working on your nutrition and you're eating really healthy, and you have a, a day during the week that's called your play day, and that might be where you have a, a piece of cake or something as kind of a mini reward. Now, note that I said play day, not play weekend or play week, right? So, so it's done in a small amount, but what you're doing is you're rewarding yourself for that positive activity so you can keep your momentum going. So there you have it, my friends. There are the five habits to create breakthrough results in 2022. And let me just repeat them. Break it down. Whatever you've got going on, break it down into small digestible chunks. Number two is pre-commit to those. So you don't have to think about it. Don't make a decision in the morning. Go ahead and make it happen. Number three is schedule those events. Number four is make sure you surround yourself with people that will be supportive. And then always make sure number five is reward yourself. So if what I uh, shared with you resonated, check out the link below for a program that I'm excited to roll out uh, here at the beginning of the year, which I'm calling the 2022 Strategic Planning Power Package. And what I do is I work with people to help them evaluate their last year, see what worked, what didn't, and get really clear about where they want to go in the upcoming year. And it's supported with a with a 90-minute strategic planning session one-on-one -on -one, and then subsequent one-on-one -on -one coaching calls so you can build the momentum and set yourself up. And what you'll be doing in that is creating a solid 90-day plan for the first three months of the year to get you going. So anyway, folks, thanks so much for listening. I wish you nothing but the absolute best in 2022. Let's make this an amazing year. Thanks so much for your support of this uh, blog throughout the year. And this has been Chris Natsky with Black Belt Leadership Speaking and Coaching. And we'll see you next time on the Mind of a Champion Tip of the Week.